Hello good day viewers, welcome back once again. Let us find solutions to the following given exponential equation. We have 3 all over 2 to the power of x plus 2 all over 3 to the power of x. Then this is equal to 3. Right? Now let's get started. Before we proceed, we need to take note of the following. When we have a over b when we try replacing a and b that is b over a then we have a negative power of one right but generally when we have a over b to the power of n this is same as b all over a raised power of negative n the reason why we have a negative one here is because their power here is one right okay now from this given equation, we can make use of this property. So we have here 3 over 2 raised power of x plus now 2 all over 3 is the same as 3 over 2 to the power of negative 1. Then raised power of x, this is equal to 3. Again, let us make use of this property. When we have a to the power of b raised power of c, we can interchange the powers as a to the power of c raised power of b right okay now from here we have 3 over 2 to the power of x plus from here we have 3 over 2 to the power of x then raised power of negative 1 this is equal to 3 now let us go ahead and make the following substitution we're going to let 3 all over 2 to the power of x equals y. Now from here we get y plus y to the power of negative 1. This is equal to 3, right? So this actually means we have y plus 1 over y. This is equal to 3. Now let's go ahead and multiply each term from both sides by y, right? Because the LCM of 1, y, and 1 is y. So here y times y here will give us y squared plus y times 1 over y, that is 1. This is equal to 3 times y, which will give us 3y. Now let's subtract 3y from both sides. We have y squared minus 3y plus 1. This is equal to 0. From here, let us make use of the general quadratic formula, right? So here we have y is equal to negative b. That will give us negative minus 3, which is 3 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. b squared will be negative 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a times c. That is 4 times 1 times 1. That is 9 minus 4. That will give us 5 over 2a, which is 2 times 1, and that will give us 2. Now we find the solutions of y, right? So now let us recall that 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to y, right? Now, let's solve for x in terms of y. Let us recall that the logarithm of a to the power of b to the base a will give us exactly b, right? So, we're going to take the natural log or we can take the logarithm of both sides, right? But the logarithm must be in base 3 all over 2. So, here... We have to take the log of 3 over 2 to the power of x to the base 3 over 2. This is equal to log of y to the base of 3 over 2. Now, with this property, this place, this simplifies to x, right? We find out that x is equal to log of... Now, instead of y, remember y is equal to 3 plus or minus root of 5 over 2. So, we replace y with that, 3 plus or minus root 5 over 2, then to the base 3 over 2, right? Now, remember we have two values here. So, we can say x1 is equal to log of 3 plus, right? Let's make use of the positive sign first, over 2 to the base of 3 over 2. 
This is approximately equal to 2.373629. And again, the other value of x, x2, that will give us log of the conjugate 3 minus root 5 over 2 to the base 3 over 2. And this is approximately equal to negative 2.373629. Six to nine, and these are the solutions. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also, like, comment, and share. Bye bye.